Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the 2022 Ford Maverick XLT at night. So I'm going to show you the interior and exterior lighting of this 2022 Ford Maverick at night. All right, so I'm going to start right here in the front. So for the headlights, the headlights actually look very, very nice and they're nice and bright. I actually just came back from driving this Ford Maverick and I did drive it at night and the headlights were nice and bright. Anyways, there is basically four settings. The first setting is the off position. Second setting is this position, which basically turns on the side marker and it turns on the uh, a yellow amber slash turn signal indicator. Uh, basically, that's where the turn signal indicator is. And then the third uh, setting is for the automatic uh, high beam uh, or basically the automatic setting. And then the third one is the manual setting. And as I said, there is this side marker right here on the side and it definitely makes the ground nice and bright and that's where the turn signal indicator is and the turn signal indicator is halogen but seriously with this second setting on it does look very nice but let's go ahead and turn on the lights basically I'm gonna turn on the low beam first and then I'll turn on the high beam and show you how the low beam and high beam looks and then after that I'll turn on the turn signal indicators and show you how everything looks and then we'll move to the side and to the back all right so I just turned on the low beam and the low beam is nice and bright and basically the high and low beams are sitting in reflectors and I really really wish that on this XLT trim there was daytime running lights I think it would have looked uh, good especially that place on the top it is empty I'm not sure if the Lariat has uh, daytime running lights but this XLT does not and this one is 28,000 so I really wish that Ford uh, did put daytime running lights here in the front so when you turn on the low beam this amber light turns on and uh, the high and low beams are sitting in reflectors and when you turn on the high beam it does turn on this inner uh, reflector so the low beam are those two reflectors and the high beam is this and as I said guys the low beams are nice and strong all right so I just turned on the high beams and the high beams are very very strong on this uh, Maverick and uh, something that is crazy about uh, the high beams on this Maverick is the fact when you turn on the high beams it does actually make the ground very very bright uh, so basically the high beams act like high beams and they act like fog lights which is crazy so very impressed i never seen this before and uh, they're just super super bright and i love the fact that they just make the ground very nice and bright when you uh, when you activate them and coming to the headlight housing as i said the inner one is the high beam so this one right here is the high beam and those two are the low beams and as I said the high beams are very very strong and I'm seriously very impressed with what the high beams uh, do when you activate them they just make the ground very very bright I just turned on the emergency lights and uh, the only thing that is halogen right here in the front is the turn signal indicators or the emergency lights and they're nice and bright but they're not LED and I think that's fine for 28,000. I think that's no big deal. You're definitely getting good amount of things uh, in this Maverick. And by the way, this Maverick does have actually two packages. It does have the off-road package and it does have the uh, co-pilot assist, basically the emergency braking, link give assist. And uh, I don't think it has adaptive cruise control, but let's go ahead and move to the side and I'll show you the side view of this Maverick. So here is a side view of the Maverick. And as I said, this one is the XLT with the FX uh, off-road package. And uh, it does look very nice from the side. But anyways, the lights are nice and visible from the side. So you could see uh, the headlights and you could see the side reflectors, not the side reflectors, the side markers actually right there. And uh, for the tail lights, you could see a little bit of them uh, standing from the side. And by the way, they're very nice and bright and uh, they do go far and they're not even halogen they're not even LED they're halogen and yeah overall 
very impressed with the lights on this Maverick but let's go ahead and move to the back of this Maverick and I'll show you how it looks like from the back so here is the back of the Maverick at night and as I said the tail lights are halogen and the license plate light is LED and it is definitely nice and bright and by the way the license plate is all the way the license plate light is all the way to the right it's not in the center they did want to make this nice and clean so they don't want to put the license plate high up there and uh, that's where the hitch receiver is so that's why the plate is located on the right but anyways for the tail lights they're all halogen turn signal indicators reverse and uh, the running lights are all halogen but as you guys saw they're nice and bright and uh, I think the design looks good so I just turned on the cargo lights and the cargo lights are halogen and the third brake light is located up there and the third brake light is halogen there is only one bulb inside of the third brake light and let me go ahead and open the tailgate it doesn't have a soft release to it so uh, you basically have to watch out when you open the uh, tailgate and honestly guys in person it looks more like this not like this so it does look like this in person it is very very bright so those halogen lights they're actually doing a great job making the bed of this Maverick very bright and uh, yeah seriously I'm very impressed with the, uh, the with those halogen lights so before we move inside this Maverick does have the uh, passcode right here and uh, they're nice and backlit here is a front door panel and all the lights the window switches and the buttons they're all backlit in blue and here are the window switches and mirror controls everything is nice and backlit so all the buttons switches they're all backlit but let's go ahead and move inside this Maverick and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside all right guys so here is the interior of this 2022 Ford Maverick and uh, lights look very very good and overall um, I really like the blue uh, backlit buttons and uh, yeah seriously everything looks amazing and uh, there is just a ton of storage places in this Maverick but anyways on the steering wheel there is good amount of buttons right here on the left those are going to be for the cruise control and volume controls there is a button specifically for mute it's actually this one right here on the right and on the right is a few buttons that will control the screen in the middle so you could go up and down so there's a good amount of things in that center display and the gauges look good uh, they're nice and bright very easy to read and understand at night and uh, there is a back button OK button and then there is the voice control and then the Bluetooth controls right here on the right and as I said the gauges look very nice easy to read at night and right here on the left that's where the headlight controls are going to be brightness control all the way to the right and then you will have the cargo light button and here is a screen it is an 8 inch screen and uh, it does look good there is a storage place on the right of it and uh, I will do a full review in the daytime so you guys could see how this um, Ford Maverick looks like and there is a, a volume knob a tune knob emergency light button radio controls right underneath the emergency light button and coming down that's where the climate controls are very easy to use when you increase the fan speed it does basically show you the lights that the fan is up or down there's an auto button it does have two lights on it actually three lights it does have three um, settings and then there is the modes so basically when you click on let's say the, uh, the bottom it will display it front windshield and you could click on max so every button has a light except this except this recirculation button there is max AC so it does turn on and uh, this Maverick does have a single zone climate control and here is the temperature and here is the off and on button 
and in the bottom there is two USBs with a 12 volt. The 12 volt is actually right here. I'll go ahead and turn on the light in a bit to show you exactly where it is, but there is a nice bright light where the storage place is. And here is the shifter that will control the eight speed automatic transmission. It does have a low gear and everything is nice and bright. Very easy to see at night. E-brake and there there is a few buttons right here in the bottom. They're all nice and black lit, uh, backlit. And inside there is no lights. But let me go ahead and turn on the lights so you guys could see. So as I said, there is no lights inside. I really wish there was uh, some lights. And uh, there is just a ton of storage places in this Maverick, which I really, really like. And uh, that's where the 12 volt is. And uh, this is the storage place that I was talking about. And uh, yeah, overall, very nice interior and by the way those LED lights are very bright so Ford did a great job with the uh, dome lights and uh, there is of course a visor there is no light but there is a mirror it is a good size mirror so I really wish that there was a light here for the back door panel it does have only one switch or one button and it is for the back window it is backlit so I'm glad that it is backlit back here and uh, seriously, <laughs> the lights inside of this Maverick are very, very good. So Ford did a great job with the lights. They're nice and LED and uh, very bright. Even the front ones are nice and bright. And by the way, there is an armrest right here. And I'm definitely going to be doing a full review of this Maverick in the daytime. There is a 12 volt in the bottom, but there is no um, lights surrounding this 12 volt let me double check so there is no lights around this 12 volt but that's how the front of this Maverick looks like with the lights on I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2022 Ford Maverick XLT at night if you guys are around and if you guys are interested make sure to come and see Chris here at Stephen Ford in Milford Connecticut and if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this please subscribe and as always I'll see you next time